Are you afraid to changing a CV value and putting in the wrong value and accidentally breaking your decoder? Well, Soundtrax has you covered. In our software and the decoders that we build, we actually go into the programming and make sure that you can't set a CV to put the decoder into some internal loop that's looking for a reference or information that isn't there. So let's take a look at this and see this in practice. Now when we look at our Soundtrax sound selection reference that you can find on our website at Soundtrax.com along the manuals, you can see that this EMD decoder has nine different diesel prime movers. So CV123 has a value range between 0 and 8 to select the nine different diesel prime movers. So now looking at the list, we can see that CV123 to a value of 5 will select the 645 turbocharged prime mover. So we're going to go ahead and set CV123 to a value of 5. And you can hear that low pressure alarm kick in as your indication to let you know the prime mover is changing. So now we're at our 645 turbocharged. Now let's say I take CV123 and I'm going to set it to a value of 25. Well, there's no 25 prime mover. So with some decoders, you could potentially put this decoder into a loop looking for data that isn't there. But with Soundtrax products, we've got you covered. When you select a CV value that is beyond the range of what the decoder is selected for, it will then simply back date to the default. So when I put in this value of 25, you hear the prime mover change, but what's it going to be? You're right, it's that EMD 567. So it defaults back to the zero value, which is the default for this prime mover. So this is just one of the many safeguards you can get. Now same thing with the air horns. If you go in and select an air horn that's outside of the range or a air compressor that's outside of the range, all of those values are going to be covered to make sure you don't break the decoder. So one thing this will do is it'll help give you the confidence to try things out because once a CV is set, it's not set in stone. So you can change this CV all day long to make sure that you can see not only the effect, but also select the right sounds. So like say for example, if we didn't mean to hit value 25 for our prime mover, we can always go back and say, oops, I meant to hit number two. So now I can say 123, set it to a value of two, and it's still going to work just like normal anytime that you need. So you can make these changes anytime you need with your CVs with a Soundtrax product. So you guys use that with confidence to know that you're getting a good product with Soundtrax. Now for more information on this and other Soundtrax information, please visit our website at Soundtrax.com and be sure to check out the user's guides and the sound selection references for all of the different information.